Day 1. The American Chopper team starts preparing for Daytona. But the new hire is creating a little tension between Pauly and Paul Sr. The question is, will he survive the day? Getting to Daytona isn't easy, especially the first time. But deadlines wait for no one, and everyone has got to do what they've got to do to get the bikes ready. The countdown to Daytona continues, but at American Chopper, every day brings a new set of challenges. There are just a few days left until Daytona, and critical details still need to be taken care of. And Paul Sr.'s still not convinced the new guy has what it takes to handle the pressures of the job. After their success at Daytona, the Tuttles know the new guy has what it takes to survive at American Chopper. But if he thinks Daytona was tough, he's in for a big surprise. What do you think I'm going to do? Give him a kiss? Paul Sr. has been riding bikes for a lot of years, and he's made friends across the nation. Some of them leave strange calling cards. Pauly tells the new guy the story of one of Paul Sr.'s most mysterious friends, Iron Horse Masabi. A full-blooded Dakota, Iron Horse lives on his chopper, constantly riding across America. Years of silent riding has given Iron Horse the ability to communicate telepathically, but only with other serious bikers. The feather is just Iron Horse's way of saying he's in town. At Daytona, Paulie saw that American Chopper had a real find in the new guy. Now Paul Sr. is slowly warming up to him too, in his own way. Sturgis is just a week away, and the days and nights are starting to run together for the American Chopper team. We'll see how he does tomorrow. Tomorrow, the real work begins at American Chopper. It's your responsibility, Paulie, but I don't need no screw-ups around here. That's it. You're done. Bye. See ya. I thought I was the only one who could get him that aggravated. Got the lug nuts to try again? He did his job. That's what he gets paid for. Good work. You've earned your frame and rims. Now get to work on your bike. When you're low man on the totem pole, life isn't easy at American Chopper. All you can do is survive the day, and hope you can prove yourself tomorrow. I knew he was an idiot, now he's an unemployed idiot. I thought I was the only one to get him that aggravated. Got the lug nuts to try again? 
A long, tough day comes to an end, but there is still plenty of work to do before Daytona. And at American Chopper, you never know what to expect next. Stuff's not getting done. I don't wait for nothing. You know what I mean? If it ain't done now, it ain't done quick enough. I don't know what you're doing from one minute to another over there, so don't hold me responsible, okay? He comes when he wants to, he leaves when he wants to, and he thinks everybody's here to just wait on him hand and foot. But every trip out of the shop, every little distraction you deal with, means less time spent working on the bike. And that's not the way to keep the boss happy. I'm gonna kill someone, I swear to God. Uh. Here we are again with our backs against the walls. I don't feel one bit sorry for him, for if you ask me, he brought this all upon himself. After stressful weeks and long hours, everything is ready. Now, the only task left is to get to Daytona. What do you think I'm gonna do, give him a kiss? An incredible day comes to an end, yet the challenges of Sturgis still linger. You're a disappointment. He's really a hard worker. He gets on it right away, no questions asked. As far as I'm concerned, he can do whatever the hell he wants. A loser is a loser, and there's no change in that. This bike could have been finished if you had a little bit more help from Paulie. You sit there like it's no big deal that none of this stuff's getting done. Bye, see ya. He's your responsibility, Paulie, but I don't need no screw-ups around here. This really sucks. Don't you stand there. Get the damn bike done. Don't you stand there. Get the damn bike done. I knew he was an idiot. Now he's an unemployed idiot. Paulie's hired a new hand at American Chopper. Today, Paul Sr. decides if he's got what it takes to stay on the job. But on a day when first impressions are critical, Paulie and the new guy decide to take an early morning ride in the country.
the new guy's first full day at American Chopper, and Paul Sr. is determined to make sure it's a busy one. Where's Hex? Hex? Ah, uh, he went for a late breakfast. He's either at Irma's Kitchen, the Sidetrack Cafe, or Eggheads. Hex in there? No. Hex? And you're Tuttle's new guy. Polly just called here and said you were looking for me. Give me your list and a ride back to my place. Nice work, moron. Maybe you better put the training wheels back on. Thanks to the lift, I'll get this stuff together and set it over in a couple hours. American Chopper. Who's this? The new guy. This is Mayhem of Mayhem's Motorcycle Emporium. I got your engine, but I want to get out of here, so come over now. So, you're the guy who wants the knucklehead engine. Tell you what, we'll have a little race to City Stadium and back. Beat me and I'll have it delivered to your shop. Lose, and maybe I'll give you a second chance. Nice riding. So nice, in fact, that I will personally deliver your engine today. Wanna try again? This bike got to be delivered to Albany today. I don't have the time to deliver it, and I don't want you wandering off. So send the new guy. He did his job. That's what he gets paid for. I don't wait for nothing. I better see something getting done today. You know what I think will make this bike kick butt? A knucklehead engine. Go over to Hex's and see if he can hook you up. Take the old school chopper. Elroy Hex Socket Set is Rock Tavern's top machinist. If it goes on a bike, Hex can machine it, fix it, or find it for you. You're Tuttle's new guy, huh? Well, I'll need a couple days to get your pan hit. I could rush it, though, if you do me a favor. I need someone to test this souped-up engine I put on this bike. How about it? Before you head back, my father wants you to drop by Mayhem's. He needs a set of air shocks, and Mayhem's not answering the phone. Get over there, and make sure those shocks get here today. Huh? What do you want? I can't race you now. I'm busy. Or you hear about Tuttle shocks. Tell him to relax. They'll be there by three.
As the new guy works on his bike, Pauly stops by to make a few suggestions. Things are progressing nicely, but the situation is about to change in a hurry. You told me my shocks would be here, and they ain't. You better straighten this out fast, because I'm this close to booting your ass out of here. Hey, if he's not answering, jump on the jet bike and get over there. It was Cash and a couple of his sidekicks. Get my money back and anything you need for your bike is on me. Righteous man. Remember, whatever you want, just ask. A couple of hot shots from West Coast Bike Shops want to do a little poker run with us. It could be an easy way to pick up money. I'll get the Comanche, you take the Mikey bike. Ready to go again? Let's ride. Stop by the next time you're in town. We like taking your money. Hey, this bike needs to be delivered now. Your buddy can drop it off on his way home. Have him take the back streets because no one is supposed to see this bike before the unveiling tomorrow. Great. The Tuttles never have to ride far before someone wants to challenge them. Nice ride, man. Hey, <laughs> you want to try again? Throckmorton Poservelt, rich, ruthless, and the owner of the world's largest collection of motorcycles has his greedy eyes on American Chopper. Now he's refusing to pay for the bike they delivered to him last week, claiming it's badly designed and the workmanship inferior. Nice of you to come, Tuttle. You know my lawyer, Mr. Meadows. I regret this little disagreement, Tuttle. But this chopper simply won't do. It's poorly made and completely unfit for a competitive environment like this. <laughs> I'll show you what this bike can do. You've brought along a friend. A new employee, I assume. Well, he's... unexpected. But welcome. So, you were going to show us what that bike could do, huh? <laughs> well, well. So I have someone else who needs dealing with. 
Finally, back at the shop, the new guy finds he's gotten the wrong handlebars. And guess who just happens to be there when he discovers it? This isn't a little mistake, it's a big problem. The only solution, hit every part shop in the area and do it fast. I can't help you, sorry. Should have come to me in the first place. Here you go, man. And remember, old mayhem is always ready to help you. Work is always the priority at American Chopper. But sometimes you've got to take the time to prove you know what you're doing on a bike. you're good at poker runs. Let's see how you do when the game gets a little rough. Next time, I'll make sure you don't get up. Someday, my friend, your luck's gonna run out. The new guy's Daytona bike is starting to take shape. Unfortunately, when you're short on seniority at American Chopper, your time is never your own. And when the boss calls, your priorities change in a hurry. Hey, someone ripped off my bike. This will help you find it, but hurry before they get out of range. <laughs> His name should be Paulie the Procrastinator. Let's do everything tomorrow. But we want to get the bike done and ready for Daytona. As usual, it'll be up to me to make sure that it happens. So Paul Sr. suggests a solution a drag race. If he wins, everyone works the weekend. If he loses, everyone works a half day on Friday. Have a nice weekend. Monday morning it hits the fan, so you two better be ready to work. As Pauly and the new guy work on their bikes, Paul Sr. plans to replenish the company's coffers with a bike sale. I want these posters up all over town. He doesn't look too busy, so get him on it. I want you to ride over to the paint shop. They're having trouble coming up with some ideas, and I think you can help them. When it comes to tank art, Drippy Pittori is the best. But like all great artists, sometimes he needs a little stimulation to get his creativity going. I get some of my best ideas from street graffiti, but the city is covering it all up. I need you to take some photos before they do. Hey, it could inspire me to come up with something really great for your bike, man. Well, it's not a lot to go on, but I guess this helps. Thanks, man. Sweet. The tank art I do for your bike is gonna be freaking incredible, man! This is uncalled for and it should have never happened. It should have never, never happened. Never, never. Paul Sr.'s just gotten a call from Shiny Noggins. He's run out of copper, and you can't chrome without copper. In this business, you just expect to have problems now and then. That's just the way it is. 
But the important thing is how you deal with those problems. Yeah, yeah, I know. You want your parts chromed, but the copper truck is lost. Tell you what, find the truck, get him over here, and your parts get done first. Hey buddy, there's a motorcycle cop on my tail now. I lost him at the last turn, but he won't give up that easy. Give him something else to chase, will you? No copper, no chrome! So get back out there and make sure that truck gets here! Thanks for the help, partner. You ever need a hand? I'm there for you! The new guy's bike is almost finished, but even though there's still plenty to do, Pauly thinks there's time for a break. A couple of my buddies are coming over for a little skills competition. It's you and me against them, so get ready. That was not good. The bikes are ready. The road is clear. It's time for the American Chopper team to ride to Daytona. <laughs> Where's Numb Nuts? this long you're bound to run across some problems some expected some not but any one of them could mean the team misses one of the biggest bike shows of the year it looks like Daytona will be another success for the Tuttles while someone else goes away a loser Safely at Daytona, the new American Chopper team gets ready to rock the show. His Daytona bike was good, very good in fact. But the crowd at Sturgis is a lot tougher and a lot less tolerant. If you bring a chopper to Sturgis, it's got to be something special. He's also low on seniority, and that means when there's an errand that needs running, he's the one doing it. And working your way up is how you earn respect around here. My father's birthday's coming up. I've got to stay here and figure out what I'm going to do for Sturgis. Do me a favor. Jump on the Black Widow and deliver these party invitations. Let me tell you something. If he doesn't get it together soon, I'll be the one that's lighting a fire under his ass. With the 4th of July just around the corner, the town council asked Paul Sr. to gather a group of bikers to ride in the Rock Tavern Parade. His busy schedule doesn't leave him time to run down parade participants, so Paul Sr. sends the new guy. Paul, I got a lot to do on my Sturgis bike. If I say I want something done, then I want it done. It's not debatable whether it's right or wrong, that's the way it's going to be. You sit there like it's no big deal that none of this stuff's getting done. Kind of reminds me how I was when I was his age. Hey you, I want my buddies to ride some of these bikes to my party. 
drop them off at this place and be quick about it. That really sucks. <laughs> he did his job. That's what he gets paid for. Paul Sr. wants him to deliver a bike to New York City. Pauly goes along to give him a lift home. If we can't go through, I guess we'll have to go over. Even when we're not under the pressure of trying to make a major deadline, my father still finds a way of tightening the screws. I got news for you, boy. I'm the boss around here, so you can do it the way I like, or you can hit the bricks. Get the baby back here or start looking for another job. Don't you stand there. Get the damn bike done. Don't you stand there. Get the damn bike done. Oh man, I got the wrong brake caliper. You know why you're here? And the only reason you're here? You make me laugh. The forecast, plenty of sunshine through today. With... We sent you the wrong brake caliper? Gee, I wonder how that could have happened. Well, since you're here, let us ride, my friend. Your brake caliper and a hundred bucks says you can't beat me today. Losing sucks, huh? <laughs> Here's your brake caliper and the hundred bucks. How a chump like you can beat me, I cannot understand. I do not know you. Prove to me you are worthy to ride with my friends. When a true warrior falls, he rises until he can rise no more. From this day, we are brothers. One of the fringe benefits of working at American Chopper is riding the signature bikes on the weekend. Hey, pal, how about you and me having a little friendly race on the open road? Hey, you like to try again, buddy, or can't that chopper beat this old truck? Nice job, buddy. See you again on down the line. As the deadline for Sturgis draws nearer, Throckmorton Poservelt gets serious about keeping the American Chopper team from getting there. Of course, it's not the kind of thing he'd handle himself. But when you've got his money, it's not hard to find someone willing to do your dirty work for you. Get on that bike again, punk, and you'll fall a lot harder next time.
We need stainless brake lines. Go order them. And don't turn it into an all-day event. Stuff needs to get done around here if we're gonna get ready for Sturgis. Hey, I only got two hands. Hex wants parts, you want a brake line, and I'm supposed to be racing right now, man! Tell you what, dude. Take my place, and I'll have the brake line waiting here when you get back. So, you're the best American chopper can throw at us. Care to try again? Or have you had enough humiliation for one day? Nicely done. You know the first thing I'm going to do when I take over American Chopper? Fire you! The success of American Chopper has drawn media attention from around the world. But when a writer from the leading motorcycle magazine drops by, he looks for a new angle for his story. Uh, Mr. Tuttle, I saw your new employee's bike at Daytona. It made quite an impression, but I'm wondering, is he in the competition my magazine has organized, or uh, doesn't he have the kind of riding skills required? Sometimes I think experience is the best teacher. Hey, Tuttle, what say you and your little sister see what you can do against some real riders? He just don't have any common sense, that's all. You just can't accept the agony of defeat. Boy, send a new guy to get my tank and do it now. Hey, I'm just about finished with Paul's tank, man! Hey, you know what? I've been thinking. Do you know who Iron Horse is? I did his tank, and I'd like to do something similar for your Sturgis bike. I know he's in town. I, I think he's hanging down at the park. See if he'll come by. We meet again, young rider. You want something from me. Ah, Drippy honors you. My tank bears many sacred symbols of my people. But before I share them with you, you must prove yourself worthy. Most men quit when their bride is wounded, but a warrior fights on. Today, you proved yourself a rider. Now, let us go see Drippy. It's a rockin' afternoon in Rock Tavern, and I've got a great giveaway going on right now, gang. The Chekhovs are coming to town, and I've got two front row tickets to the first listener who drops by my very favorite sponsor, Irma's Kitchen! Ooh, look! Hey, can you say, loser? <laughs> You're the winner! I'll call Tonsil's Torkelson at the radio station and tell him to have your tickets ready. Hey, I'm a big fan of the checkoff, so if you can't find a date, you know what I'm saying?
Poser Belt's continuing harassment of the Tuttles has forced Paul Sr. to settle matters once and for all by putting American Chopper on the line. You sure this is the right thing to do? And are you sure I'm the right guy to do it? Look, I don't have to explain to you why I want things done this way. I run this place, not you. So when I say jump, you say how high. Mr. Meadows has just come from your employer. On his person are documents signed by me and Tuttle, outlining the outcome of tonight's race. Should you win, I stop my legal proceeding against Tuttle, pay him $500,000, and ride a moped through Sturgis. If my representatives win, I take over American Chopper, and Tuttle introduces the new line of American Chopper mopeds at Sturgis. <laughs> when a rider and his mount become one, they are invincible. Here's the check for $500,000 and the legal papers. Mr. Poservelt has many faults, but he's a man of his word. I'll see you in Sturgis. My father wanted to test drive the bike a couple times before we delivered it. Now, to be honest, I'm just hoping we can get the bike done in time. That was weak, man. I thought you were supposed to be good. It's a big relief to know that that's all done and we're ready to get going. Now, there's nothing left to do but head to Sturgis. And with a long, challenging ride ahead of him, the new guy figures he could use a little luck on his side. You gotta be kidding me, right? Dignity of it all. A pose of it, exposed to the ridicule of this unwashed, repulsive rabble. If you ask me, this company is not about the bikes we build, but about the people that build them. As storm clouds gather over the Black Hills, the American Chopper team savors another successful bike debut. Today, everything is going their way. But you never can tell what adventures tomorrow may bring. A faulty hydraulic lift dumped the new guy's bike on the shop floor. Now, he must gather Rock Tavern's Chopper Brain Trust to assess the damage and help him get back on schedule. We got your back, man. Hey, man, here I am! Where are you going? 
All right, I got my tools. Let's go. Tired, dirty, and just plain beat up, the new guy calls it a day. It's been another tough one, but everything is back on track. At least until tomorrow. Just when he thinks he's home free, Pauly calls with another errand. Go by Heavy Metal Hannigans for the music he's composed for the Daytona show. Here you go, man. These jams will really get Daytona rocking, dude. Even when you take a leisurely ride at lunch, someone is ready to challenge you. <laughs> hey, we meet again. Well, let's see if you can keep up. Wow, that's gotta hurt. That was some kick-ass riding, man. <laughs> hey, we meet again. Well, let's see if you can keep up. See ya, loser! Bite me. When you spend most of your waking hours in a shop, it's nice to get out for a ride after work. You just want to stay clear of some neighborhoods. Mr. Tuttle's junior employee, how nice to see you again. You look like a man who enjoys a friendly wager. Let's drag. Three out of three for, let's say, 3,000. You in? That was a truly pathetic effort. I suppose this seems like a great deal of money to you. The signature bikes weren't built just to look at. They were built to be ridden hard. So on a bright and clear morning, the Comanche bike is entered in a checkpoint race. The Comanche were great warriors, and this bike can carry you to victory if you let the spirit of those warriors ride with you. Nice! Hey, if you want me to give your Sturgis bike a little engine booster, you just ask, man. Well, well. If it isn't the employee of the month, hope you enjoy working at American Chopper. <laughs> while it lasts. Now, I can't match you for sheer riding bravado, but when it comes to style, well, there I have the advantage. Would you care to test my skills? It doesn't look like your job interview with me went too well. <laughs> No one likes to lose. Least of all me. You, my friend, will live to regret this little victory. Hey, free spirits of the highways and byways. Tonsils Torkelson coming at you live from our mobile unit, bringing fun and excitement to Rock Tavern this afternoon. Ooh, so sorry, my friend, but in the words of Rock Tavern's favorite son, Mr. Paul Tuttle, a loser is a loser!
Congratulations, that was a fabulous display of riding prowess. Yes! Ah oh man, this freaking metal plate is acting up again. That's right, I've got another big prize giveaway this afternoon, gang. Here's the deal. Be the first one to stop by the sponsors by name and win valuable prizes. But here's the catch. Some prizes are bigger than others. You gotta figure out where the big ones are. All right, here's where you go. Noggin's Metal Finishing, Vittori's Paint and Powder Coating, the Sidetrack Cafe, and a brand new sponsor, Raskolnikov's Axe and Wood Chipper Depot. Good luck! We have a winner! And it ain't you! You again? You're good, dude. Very good.